The electric sedan revolutionized the industry upon its introduction in 2017 by significantly lowering EV prices, making them accessible to a wider range of American households. However, the Model 3 has encountered issues including subpar fit and finish since its inception. Its interior space is limited, and its standard feature set omits sought-after amenities. Visually, the changes on the outside are subtle. You may notice the lack of fog lights and the slimmer headlights, but the easy way to tell the new 2024 Tesla Model 3 from the old is to look at the back where they put the word Tesla rather than just the Tesla logo. Now, let's turn our attention to the interior. When it comes to user interface of the 2024 Tesla Model 3 Long Range, the biggest difference between this car and the vast majority of cars on the road, including older Model 3s, is that the new Highland doesn't have stalks on both sides of the steering wheel. So, instead of using the left stalk as a turn indicator and the right one to change from park to drive or reverse, you now have to use a small left or right button on the left side of the steering wheel to signal a turn or lane change and have to swipe up on a strip on the left side of the screen to go into drive or down to go into reverse. You touch the P on top of the strip to go into park and in at the bottom for neutral. There is also an auto shift out of park, beta, that uses the cameras to predict which direction you want to go in. This is new to most people and needs some practicing with both the turn indicators and the on-screen gear shifting. I've seen numerous comments on my videos from European drivers who complain about the indicators on Europe's many roundabouts. One problem with the steering wheel buttons is that they get into an odd position when you turn the wheel so they might not be where your muscle memory thinks they are in a turn or when going through a roundabout. Personally, I wish Tesla had left the stalks alone, but it is what it is. There's also a 15-inch infotainment screen up front, which doubles as the central instrument cluster, and an 8-inch rear screen. Both have a plethora of tech, from games and music streaming services to infotainment and ventilation adjustment. One big difference between the Model 3 rear-wheel drive and Model 3 Long Range is the audio system. The Long Range includes speakers concealed in the tops of the front windscreen pillar and a second subwoofer. All Up the Long Range has 17 speakers improving the rear-wheel drive's already great sound reproduction. To access the various functions, both minor and major, you will need to make use of that huge touchscreen jutting out of the center of the dashboard. It all looks very futuristic, but having to delve through menus to access everything from the music volume to seat heating and even steering wheel adjustments can initially be a bit frustrating. Once you're all set up and have configured the shortcuts and layout to your tastes, it is as easy to navigate as your smartphone. The screen is very responsive, has bright and clear graphics, and the sat navigation uses Google Maps, which is about as user-friendly as it gets. Tesla doesn't offer Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but you may not actually miss it. That just goes to show how intuitive it all is. I still wouldn't mind a physical button for the glove box, though starting with a pair of large front door bins that will take big water bottles and even smaller handbags. A nice touch is the double wireless phone charger beneath the dashboard, which means you and your passenger don't have to fight over charge. The central cubby incorporates a tray with two USB-C ports, and you get another covered storage compartment as well as two cup holders. Speaking of seats, the new Model 3 seats are both heated and cooled, which should be nice on hot or cold days. All Model 3s come standard with heated and ventilated front seats, navigation, and Tesla's autopilot semi-autonomous driving system. Now, let's turn our attention to the back seat. 
Backseat passengers now get their own 8-inch screen that can be used to control heating and cooling, audio volume, and to watch video via Netflix, YouTube, or other streaming services. You can also use it to play games. It can also be used to change the position of the front passenger seat if it's affecting leg room of the person behind it. I question, however, how that's going to go over for the person in front. Fortunately, backseat passengers can't mess with the driver's seat. As an entertainment device, the screen is a bit small and it's positioned so low that it might cause some neck strain to watch for an extended period. I suspect that some backseat passengers will opt for a tablet rather than bothering with the built-in screen. This is a refresh, not an entirely new design, but it takes what's good about the Model 3 and makes it better while fixing things that always bothered most people, including bumps and road noise. As with all Teslas, the regenerative braking is aggressive which encourages you to ease off the throttle rather than lift off quickly. Or you can use the cruise control, which is now activated via buttons on the steering wheel. The new 2024 Tesla Model 3 Long Range comes with a 19-inch alloys wheel in Hankook tires. It's a decent combo that still delivers on the vastly improved ride quality of the updated Model 3 sophisticated frequency selective dampers that adjust their response depending on the size and speed of the bump do a great job of dealing with bumps. Some people wanted the long range because they sometimes get range anxiety on road trips. Even though the standard range's EPA estimated 272 miles would have been more than adequate in the vast majority of cases because of Tesla's extensive supercharging network. The long range has an EPA estimated 341 mile range, but just as with EPA gasoline cars, your mileage will vary. Hardly anyone gets the full EPA rated range on Teslas. As of the time of producing this video, the standard range costs $38,990 while the long range, which has dual motors, costs $47,470. The 0 to 60 acceleration on the long range is rated at 4.2 seconds compared to 5.8 seconds, but in most on-road situations, it's crazy to accelerate at that speed. Both are rated for a top speed of 125 miles per hour, which is less than the 140 miles per hour of the 2023, but that doesn't even come close to mattering much. 